But remember, only flick the wrist this way. Remember, you're coming into the contact area with a closed face racket. Notice my racket is closed here. Closed, closed as I come up. Now it's vertical. Now I can flick the wrist this way, which will give you that extra spin. But never come into the contact area with an open face and thinking you're going to roll the racket over for your top spin. That'll kill your top spin. You want to be vertical when you're hitting your top spin approach. Now this, the mistake usually happens on the player's backswing. Well, I'll show you what I mean. From the ready position, the racket face is closed. Now sometimes when players come back, they drop the elbow into the body. When the elbow drops in, notice the racket face is open. Now you have to close the racket face on the forward swing to be vertical when you hit the ball. Here's a side view. Okay, I'm in my ready position. I bring the racket back, but the elbow drops in, the racket opens up. Now as you swing forward, your racket face is laid back. You have to flick the wrist just at the right moment to be vertical. This is very risky business. Sometimes you'll hear players say, yeah, no problem, I'll just roll the racket over the ball for top spin. That's a common myth. You cannot do that. The ball is only on the strings for milliseconds. So you're swinging up with an open face. All these shots are long, 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 boom. When you get there, okay, that one stays in, but then all these are in the net. Really, that rolling over can really hurt your consistency on your top spin approach shots. So this is what you'd want to do. Keep the racket face closed on the backswing. Keep the elbow up away from the body. Now the racket's back and the racket is still closed. From here, you drop it down a foot below the ball and swing from your shoulder. Don't get wristy with the forearm and the wrist because that could cause the racket to get out of position. Remember, foot below, swing from the shoulder. You're guaranteed vertical over here. Now here's a side view. I'm in the ready position. I come back, the elbow stays away from the body, racket faces down. I drop it down a foot below the ball, swing up. Now, there's my contact. Okay, it's okay for the wrist to go this way on a top spin shot. If your wrist goes this way, you'll generate a little more spin, a little more RPMs on the ball, which will cause the ball to come down sooner. And that's a good thing on a top spin approach shot because you're hitting the ball in the mid-court area. So it's tough to hit it hard and keep it in. So it's good to think spin on that top spin approach shot.